In this video, we are going to take a look at the different keyboard and trackpad accessibility features on a Chromebook. In the lower right corner on a Chromebook, click on the clock to access your accessibility features. The first one we are going to highlight is automatic clicks. This allows you to hover over something using your trackpad and it will select it for you. So you do not have to press on the trackpad to click on anything or select it. So all we're doing here is hovering over something to select and our Chromebook automatically clicks it for us. There is a toolbar that is up when you have this accessibility feature activated and it allows you to choose what type of click you would like to use. You can choose a right click or a double click. You can also um, have it click and drag if you are formatting anything like in Google Slides. And then you can scroll using automatic clicks. So that brings up this new um, toolbar here and all you have to do is hover over which way you would like to scroll and it will automatically scroll for you hover over the X to get rid of it. You can also hover over the pause button to change your mouse and trackpad to normal functions and use the option in the lower right in the toolbar to move the toolbar's location. So this is what a right click looks like if you hover over and choose automatic click. And then you can switch it back to uh, select or double click. And then again, click and drag if you need to move something on your screen with automatic clicks. So our next um, option that we are going to show is the on-screen keyboard. This is uh, really great if, for anyone who struggles with um, typing or pressing the keys on a keyboard um, and the mouse is easier to use. You can choose to have an on-screen keyboard or if you have a touch screen, um, the on-screen keyboard can be easier to use. There's some settings, voice typing, and if you do have a touch screen, you can use the draw feature. So that's the on-screen keyboard. It has that um, icon along the toolbar to bring it up whenever you need it. There's also switch access. If you have an external um, controller that you would like to use, you can uh, plug that in and use switch access. Sticky keys is another keyboard accessibility feature. This allows for a delay between when you click shift and a key um, to do things like capitalize. You'll see that um, pops up in the upper left to let you know that it's selected shift. And so you don't have to hold down shift at the same time as you click on a key to capitalize it um, or uh, choose the alternate option. So this is helpful again for mobility on the keyboard or uh, students with smaller hands that it's harder to reach um, shift and a key together. So there are other options built into accessibility um, besides in the main section. So if you click on accessibility and then that settings gear and scroll through, there's keyboard and text input in the um, advanced accessibility feature sec uh, settings. And so you can go here and you can set up navigating pages with a text cursor. Um, you can personalize your switch access. You can open the keyboard device settings. And so this will allow you to personalize what some of the keys actually um, mean on your keyboard, um, the top row, and then you can change the repeating. This is helpful, um, again, for mobility with a keyboard if um, you have students that are pressing down uh, too long on a key and it keeps repeating for them, you can change that repeat rate so it won't repeat the key if they hold it down too long. You can also go and um, access the mouse and touchpad uh, accessibility settings and click open mouse and touchpad device settings and you can change the touchpad speed and tap dragging, tap to click, things like that you can um, personalize in your accessibility features settings. So those are the options for um, keyboard and trackpad accessibility.